Hello, I'm Josie and today I would like to talk to you about turning your horse. Years of starting young horses under saddle has taught me how to teach a horse what I want it to do when it knows nothing. And you break that down into pretty simple tasks and I'd like to try and share them with you today. And my hope is that by the end of this video, you have some understanding of how to train your horse to turn and what to do if you get any issues arise. So when you know how to do it, sorry, the flies are a bit friendly, you actually have some tools for working through issues with your horse. So in the very beginning, when you're turning the horse, you actually do use the inside rein. The aim of turning a horse is for it to be from inside leg to outside rein. I'll explain that in a bit. But in the very beginning, you definitely use the inside rein on a young green horse. So he'll usually go where his nose is pointed. So I'll come in here and I'll show you what I do. So in the very beginning, you actually use an opening rein and bump the horse, sorry, spider's got good lateral flexion, but you bump the horse, bump the horse, and you come out, because you, if you come backwards, you bend the horse, and all his energy is gonna go out that way, and particularly young green horses with limited balance will actually fall out and jackknife through the shoulder. So if you're having problems with your horse turning, you use the opening rein, and I would, in a green horse, bump it and straight bump it and straight, bump it and straight, bump it and straight. So the horse does a lot of straight line turn, straight line turn. Now this is in the very beginning on a green horse, but this helps you to go back if you're having issues with your horse, go back and start from there and work forward. So on a young green horse, it'll look kind of like this, bump straight, bump straight, bump straight, bump straight. It's a bit hard to do it on my horses, they've done this, but that's how it looks. So I'm coming down here and I want to turn my young green horse, bump straight, bump straight, bump straight, bump straight. On a 20 metre circle, you don't need much bend at all, okay? For correct bend on the turn, the horse's front legs, if you draw a line and an arc, the front legs and the back legs should be one either side as if there was a hose uh, and you were riding with a hose in the centre of your horse. But you do need flexion. Uh, the greener horse, I don't even care about that. I don't care if they're actually leaning out as long as they're coming around the corner to start with. You've got to start with basics. But I just thought I'd show you flexion. So if you go back, yep, there you can see his crest flipping there. So you saw his crest flipping and that is when he's actually bending in the atlas joint. Horses have a joint up here called the atlas joint, very much like our wrist. These joints are very specialized and the horse has an atlas joint up the top so he can actually look in look out, sorry, because I'm thinking of the arena, look in, look out, and you can see that crest flipping there. So flexion, sorry, I've got a married season in the paddock. Um, so flexion just comes from the atlas joint, from the pole of the horse, got nothing to do with the neck bend, okay? And you should be able to flex your horse without bending the neck. And you can see that ligament just popping from side to side there. That's part of your lateral suppleness. When I use a turning aid on my horse, uh, other than bumping, the next step is I just use a sponge aid. So you need to learn to hold your uh, reins correctly, which means it should go through the little finger and the ring finger. The rein should go up over the top and then your thumb gently on top. Your hands should be closed I'll go through that in another video, but if they're not closed, trust me, you don't have a good communication line with your horse. Not squeezed in a hard fist, just closed. And so when I want to turn, I will use a like a sponge motion, like squeeze, 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 squeeze. In the very beginning, 
we just bump with the inside rain, no outside rain really, but we do need to end up using the outside rain. That's in fact the main turning aid really uh, when the horse is a little bit more educated. I don't use the outside rain on really, really green horses because I don't like pulling their head in and tying their head in. Young horses use their head and neck to balance themselves while they're finding their balance with their rider on their back. A little bit like if you were walking somewhere where you were losing your balance, you would actually put your arms out to try and balance. Think of a young child walking on a balance beam, a gymnastic balance beam. Imagine if you tied its arms to its side and told it to walk. It would probably fall off more than it didn't to start with and it would have no confidence because it would fall off. So I feel the same about the horses. They need their head and neck to balance. Once they find their balance and build some musculature to hold themselves and me on their back, then I'll ask them. So the outside rein is basically to stop the horse from overbending his neck to the inside. So if I pull Spider's neck this way and don't do anything, where's he falling? Through his outside shoulder. Okay, so that's what happens when horses fall out. So my outside rein, whoops, sorry Spides, that was me. So my outside rein sits here and just holds him so that he can't bend his neck to the inside or over bend it. So I can indicate like I showed you, sponge, but my outside rein is just here, sponge, sponge, sponge sponge, sponge, and now you can see spiders coming around. So we also use weight aids to help turn our horse and I use them on the young horse. So if I step on my inside stirrup here, spider will follow my weight. You can see, I'll see if I can actually do a complete turn here just with weight. So now we'll go straight down the long side, even weight in both stirrups. Now I'm going to weight my inside stirrup and look where I'm going. <laughs> he's, had, woo, he's had 12 months off with an injury. He's feeling a bit yippy. You're all right, mate. He has been back in work for a couple of weeks. Okay. <laughs> All right. Plus I don't normally ride him with no reins like that. But I want to show you. Okay, so step to the right a little. Step to the left and whoop. Look. <laughs> it's all right, mate. I'm not going to cut this because I think it's good. Stuff happens. Straight towards you, balanced in the middle of my saddle. Ooh. So when I talk about putting weight in a stirrup, hopefully I wasn't looking too much like this. I'll have to watch the video. Think about it like standing up in a canoe. If you put too much weight in one, you're going to fall and everything's going to flip. So you only need to add tiny bits of weight and the horses soon become very conditioned to that. And so you can turn your horse on a weight aid. So the other aid that actually fits in to a turning aid is, a, um, is your leg aids. So my upper thigh, I'm gonna put my right upper thigh and look over here. And my right upper thigh is pushing him or uh, So my thigh to my knee is part of my seat aid really. So when I put that on there, I expect him to move basically to help with shoulder control, to go that way, all right? The lower leg is a little bit more for lateral work. It takes time to teach your horse that, so give him time to learn it and give yourself time to learn it as well. But once your horse can do that, he's a bit fresh, but we'll see if, he, if he'll do this for me. Oh, he's very fresh today. So with everything I said, I should be able to bring his nose and neck in, but I had to put my inside leg on then, go back and watch to keep him on the track. Now my outside leg goes back and he can do travers. It 
if I use my reins to tip his nose out here and use my right leg, I can ask him to do a little defence. He comes, straightens him up. Whoops, now he's all crooked. Oh, he's hanging off in the mirror. Coming down the centre, make him look that way. Ask him to shorten the out and then ask him to come over this way. And I know these aren't very beautiful because he's been out of work, but that's a little, that's how half pass happens. So once you can do all of this, so when you've got go, stop, turn, and move over from your legs, you've got the basics of nearly every dressage movement there is. I'm really enjoying sharing these with you. I hope you're liking them. If you do, hit the subscribe button. Please give me a like. And I'll see you next week.